Eh, okay. We gonna cook something? Y'all listen up. I'm going to make this here cornbread quiche. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Just take notice. So I'm just going to, I'm going to use it all, which is, you see about how much it is? I'm, and I'm going to move right along with it. That much uh, cornmeal, I think, is what it'll take. And I just want a softball. And I, and I am using buttermilk. And I'm just, I kind of judge that by eye, hoping that I don't have it too thin, but because we don't have more cornmeal right now. I, now, I have made these before, so I do have a little bit of head start of how much liquid, and it's not enough. Well, it's looking pretty good. You just see, I've only used two ingredients as yet. And what I want here is a, a tough ball when it comes in, when all of that comes in one piece and you can get it like dough, and I believe we reached that stage. But I already baked one of these today, and this is the second one. Put this whole thing out of the pan in here. Keep that aside. We're going to use it again. I just was kind of figuring where it would coat this this uh, pie pan real thin all the way around. And to aid in that endeavor is take a piece take a piece of uh, their plastic stuff. I mean, I don't like it, but I use it all the way around. And if you have too much, just ooze it out. And, and if there's enough left over, you can bake yourself a, a little hoe cake. See what we got right there? Perfect. Uh, really it ain't. And I told you when uh, on the get-go that if something wasn't right, I'd tip you all about it. And you, if you take a little more time on this, and there's no reason to. It's the finished product that you want. Um, I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to take this out and I'm going to I'm going to cook that. I'm going to put it aside. In this in this bowl, this is uh well, it's egg substitute. I'm going to put some minced dried onion flakes. I'm going to put them in there. And a pretty good lot. Some black pepper. And you mix all this together. And that's all there is to it. It's a very few ingredients. Set that aside, and I had some sausage is what prompted this on the get-go that I diced up. It's been set on the sideboard and kind of cooled down a little bit. And it, when it's, it's the correct amount. Right there they is. Prepare the dish for baking. Is, uh, I put the meat in first. Distribute that evenly around there. And... The cheese, by all means, be liberal with the cheese. So, this is a sharp cheese. And I'm going to put a, a, yes, well, it's all I got. I'm going to put it on the, all of it. Okay, see, that's worked out just, and, and it'll work out that way in your kitchen, too. Hey, you see what I got there? So simple as that. Just pour it. I mean, you go, you're going to put the whole thing in there as long as it don't run over. And, and I have did this before and know that to be the right amount for my for my pie dish. All it is to it, uh, kids, just get in there. I'm going to put this in the oven. And, uh, you know, I might just go ahead and put a challenge out there to, for uh, uh, if you like cooking. Uh, this is a challenge. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get this piece out right here that I've trimmed up. Well, I did give it the benefit of the doubt and let it let it uh, cool. But actually, I might should have let it cool a little bit more, a little bit more, so that it break away from the glass. You know, it's time to get a piece out. So I'm going to show you what it looks like, and it came right out. And the cornbread crust, can you see that? How? pretty and brown that is. Bake, it's baked perfect and I did use a, I'm gonna put that right there, and I did use a, um, a clear baking dish so that uh, I could see if it was baked uh, sufficiently and, and I advise you to do also. By all means add this recipe to your to your repertoire. You'll be, you will be 
rewarded immensely. It's cornbread quiche and see the cornbread's browned. I don't know if you can see it. And it's, oh, it's perfect. Just a hint of onion. I'll have another one in the oven if you're worried about not being enough.